Boss Fight Gaming. Get ready. Fight! Hey guys, welcome back to another Boss Fight Gaming achievement guide. Today we're playing Art of Rally and we're going for two achievements here, which are In Like a Lamb and Out Like a Lion and Real Roads Real Fast. Now this is to complete a daily event and to complete a weekly event. It's very straightforward and 99% of people should get this pretty easily. However, if you're not really used to car games, you may struggle just a little bit. However, with a couple of tips, I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine. Anyway, from the first of all, to get this achievement, uh, achievements, both achievements, you will need to go to the main menu and then you will need to go down to online events, which is the fourth option at the time of making this video is anyway. Uh, so down to online events and then you need to click, click on daily event to get your daily achievement once you click on daily event it will download the daily challenge and all you'll need to do is click to do the race so you need to start the race and you need to finish the race now it is timed but it's like an online leaderboard so you're not really racing against anybody you're just really racing against a time so the best thing you can do if you want this achievement uh, easily if you're good at racing games then just go at it if you're not really confident or you're not really strong at racing games, just take your time. There's really no rush at all to get this done. Just take your time throughout the race. Start at the beginning at the start line. Take your time and once you get to the finish line, you will get the achievement. As I mentioned, there is just one race in the daily event. However, the weekly event is a little bit different. I'm going to explain that now. In fact, just before I continue on to the weekly event, just to point out, I did cut out quite a bit of my race there and the reason for that is your race is probably going to be a different race completely from mine. So there's no point in me going through the entire race with you to tell you how it's done. Basically all you need to do is take your time on that race, break for corners, let go of your accelerator for some corners and just literally just take your time. There's no way to lose really. Just go from the, at the start all the way to finish and you will get your achievement. Now, there's no point in racing around, jumping off the track, going on the grass and stuff like that. You don't need to do that at all. Just take your time and you will get to the end and get that achievement for your daily. Now, the weekly is the same. I'm not going to show you the entire four races. Now, on weekly, you have to do four races to finish an entire rally. Instead of one, it's four. Well, it was four on the weekly that I did anyway. Again, I'm not going to go and show you all four races. I'm just going to say... As long as you do the four races, start each race and end each race and make it from the beginning to the end of each race, you will get this achievement. Now keep it in mind, I'm not sure if this counts, I'm not sure if there's damage on there, but if you're doing a rally, your damage actually carries across between each race. So with that in mind, you don't want to be crashing your car a lot. So just take your time, nice and steady, especially the earlier races and just basically make it through each individual race, all four of them, from beginning to end, and you will get this achievement. Now, a couple of tips to try and help you guys get this. Now, there's three types of turnings that I would consider uh, needing to know about. There's really sharp turnings, and the way to, like this one coming up right now, the way to really approach them is to brake as you're approaching. Once you come to a pretty slow stop, let go of the brake, let the car roll around the corner and then accelerate out of the corner. That's the best way to, sh to take a sharp bend. Now on a medium corner, pretty similar to one that you've just seen me go around there, you will just need to tap the brake slightly to push your back end out and let go of the accelerator and tap the accelerator as you go around and maybe tap the brake a little bit if you need it. And on the big wide corners, you probably don't need to tap your brake at all. Just let go of the accelerator as you're approaching a large corner and you will glide around it slowly. If for any reason you feel like you are losing control, just tap the brake slightly and you will make it round. That's really the only things that you really need to know in a racing game, I think. Now there's a lot of it's done by instinct really, but those three things, those three corner types are the main things that will cause people trouble. So on a short bend like this one coming up, Brake before it, and let your car ex um, go around on itself without accelerating and accelerate out of the turn. On a medium sized bend, you want to brake a little bit and tap your accelerator and not really hold your accelerator around. And then 
on a large bend, similar to the one that's on the screen now. I have messed up a little bit, but basically all you need to do on a massive large bend is just let go of the accelerator and let your car sort of roll around and then hit the accelerator to give it some grip as you come out of the other side. And it's pretty straightforward as that, guys. Just as long as you take the, that information into each race, you should be absolutely fine to get those done. So, yeah, daily challenge, just one race. Weekly challenge, four races. Try not to damage your car. Just take it nice and steady. You're not racing against anybody. You're not on a timed level. Just take your time. As long as you make it from the start to the finish, within any amount of time, you will get both achievements. As simple as that, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and we'll see you in the next video. Boss Bike Gaming. You lose. Game over.